that will come with experience. And that's just, this isn't, it's not even the lowest it's going to get for us. You know, I told a few guys, I mean, the lowest it can get is being up 17 in the fourth quarter in game two of the finals and losing, you know, and, uh, you know, that's I can get that low. Or being up 2-1, going to game four and lose four straight, lose three straight in the finals. That's that's very low. So um, I'm very optimistic. I'm very um, positive, more positive than I thought I would be right now. Um, so we look at what we did wrong, things that we did well, and we get ready for uh, Orlando coming here um, on Monday. Let's use his words. Fragile, shall we? Uh Things are fragile for LeBron James and Cleveland after they blew an 18-point first quarter lead and lost by 17 to the Raptors on Saturday. Fourth straight loss. Drops Cleveland a 5-7 and seven this season. The worst 12-game start for LeBron since his rookie season. Stephen A., what's going on with the Cavs? Well, it's a lot of, I don't want to say acrimony because that would be an inappropriate word. I just think that it's an incredible adjustment, and I think that there's an absence of belief in this franchise at this particular moment in time if you're LeBron James. Let's face reality. He doesn't look happy. Skip Bayless, I watched his performance on Friday night against the Washington Wizards. It was the first time in LeBron James' career that I looked at him, and I just said he looks completely and utterly disinterested. Some people would point to uh, a playoff a particular playoff game against Boston years ago when he was in Cleveland. Uh, but I happen to know that he had a lot of personal things going on that particular moment in time, and that might have influenced his relatively pedestrian performance. And he still finished with 25 in that particular game, if I remember correctly. Friday night against the Washington Wizards, he seemed completely disinterested, almost like he didn't want to be there. It was like he had a headache and he had been annoyed. And when you look at a guy like Kyrie Irving, it's not hard to figure out why. And understand that what I'm about to say it's with all due respect and deference to the young kid that Kyrie Irving is, the young stud that he is. He is a guy supremely confident in himself. He ain't walking around causing trouble, talking smack, or being disrespectful. But at the same time, Skip, a la Kobe in the earlier years with Shaq, Kyrie's not interested in being a basketball teammate's little brother. He's not interested in deferring to King James. He's not interested in doing any of that. He marches to his own beat. He does his own thing. And I think that that's an adjustment for LeBron because the ability to reach people may not be as easy for him. Uh, it may, may, may have been considerably easier for him, rather, than it would be to reach a Kyrie Irving. Then when you talk about the team being fragile, well, our own Brian Windows even pointed it out. LeBron James... He's got double the amount of turnovers than anybody on the Cavs. LeBron James, at this moment in time, 12 games into this season, has 48 turnovers. He's averaging four a game. Averaged three and a half last year with Miami, but he's got 48 turnovers, averaging four, four a game. Kyrie Irving has 24 turnovers, and they're both playing at practically the same amount of minutes. So there are things that LeBron James has to improve upon with his game, but at the same time, the coach is a huge question mark saying we'll win at least 41 games. Like, that, like, like that's supposed to be a big deal. And Kevin Love's game seems to be suffering, and I think that LeBron James, at least initially, may have bit, bitten off more than he can chew. But it's still 70 games to go, mm. so we'll see. Stephen A., I know a lot of people think I over-criticize LeBron, but I don't think, as you point out, he should get a pass here. Even though we're early in the season, I think he consistently is talking down to his young teammates. Every interview is about them, 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 what they have to learn to come up to reach my level of play. And I will bet you they are sick and tired, especially Kyrie, of hearing this. Because as you point out, before LeBron criticizes, he's got to clean up his act. As you, as you noted, he's second in the NBA, tied for second in the NBA in turnovers right now. He had five against Toronto, and as we all know, his unforced error cost him or Kyrie a last shot against San Antonio last week. So, again, he, he looked disinterested to me at, at Portland, at Utah earlier this year, and now he has a new bad habit of when he thinks he didn't get a call, he won't even hustle back on defense anymore. It's like he's already giving up on his young teammates. And that has to stop, or they, they don't have a chance, because he needs to be the example, not, not the guy who's trying to distance himself from the rest of his teammates who are failing him.
he can't keep criticizing interview after interview every teammate until he plays up to a level that they have to come up to reach. So I know it's early, but it's significant. This team's in trouble early. It is fragile. I will say two things to you, Skip, right here on first take, and you can book it. This is going to happen. If they don't get this ship steered in the right direction and start playing the way that they're capable of playing, number one, you're going to hear calls as to whether or not Kyrie Irving should be traded before the NBA's trading deadline. And number two, by the end of the season, you'll be hearing folks clamoring for a new coach in Cleveland. You can book it. If this stuff doesn't get turned around, those two things are going to go okay. down. Okay, or you can mark or number it down. three, as you have pointed out earlier on this show, LeBron James could opt out after the season and go someplace else. Wow. He could. Okay. He's right. If they don't turn it around, well, Stephen A else. says, book yeah. it. Uh, Kyrie trade calls and new coach, or perhaps, last case scenario, L LBJ out of Cleveland. Um, when we come back, let's.